Hyper two wall attachments? Yes. Okay. Add to cart. A wall power outlet? Okay. okay I'm going to add that to the cart. What the heck? Let's just buy them all. I've got 47 of these things. I can keep just buying and buying and buying. Ooh, stairs. I like those. And industrial walkways. Yeah, let's do some of those. Modern railing set. Do the industrial railings. I can have windows in my walls, not conveyor walls. I could have doors, an automated gate. I can buy a, oh, a factory cart. Yes, that's cool. Oh, a fix it coffee cup. Gotta do that just for fun. All right, what happens when I go check out? Total 86. Um, why does it say there's only, there's 24 items, doggone it. Well, it's finally time to play again. Let's go on over to uh, a uh, section of my now it looks like he's stuck. Oh dear, they're gonna play together for a while. Oh dear. Okay, let's go on over to my uh, area over here that I quit working on because I was, you know, running out of power. So let's power these things up and get them moving. So the first thing I want to do is power this one up, get some stuff heading out of it, make sure everything else is powered up. Let's get some conveyors connected here that one and that and here we are making the automated wiring okay all righty now the one thing i wanted to do also is i wanted to split the ore i'll put a splitter right there 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 we go So the next thing I want to do is the first thing that gets built here is the wire. And then once it goes into the wire, we send it one wire in to build the stators, another wire in to build the, uh, the regular bundles, wire bundles. And it needs 50 cables per minute and that. Okay, the stators. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to stop in an intermediary process and not use up all my cables. I'm wondering how much this outputs. How much does this output? 30 per minute and this machine wants 50 per minute. So realistically, I need to add to this line and frankly, I'm getting much more production of wire than I am using. So let us go ahead and pull a conveyor off of here and I will build another machine here. Yeah, right next to it. Boom. Okay. Okay, and go from here to there. And then we're gonna run over here. We're gonna put a merger here. Make it a whole lot easier if we put it out there. Go in to there. And then let's go from there into there to there. I want to create cable for this one. So we got cable coming out of there, cable coming out of there. The two being combined at 30 each is going to be more than the is needed at 50 each there for per minute. So okay, we should be able to meet that need just fine. Okay, so let's go to the power pole and see here what my concern was that this, this 
consumption line was bumping into my production line. And with that causing the issue there, of course, I, I definitely did not want to try to restart this whole system with a broken fuse. So right now, if everything were running, the line is still below the max production line. Max consumption at 1,081, production at 1,425. So, you know, I'm producing a third again as much as what I need approximately. We're good for, for the time being. We're good. Okay, so let's close that and let's go see what we did. In order to get to that point, I had to literally go down and make some power plants. So let me show you what I did here. It took a little bit to get enough conveyors going here and there and everywhere to get things uh, balanced out. Okay, so what I had before were these four. And uh, frankly, I had more water generation than what I needed. I had all, you know, seven of these sitting out. And so what I did is I split the water coming from these three, as you can see here is all the splitters, and then built these four power plants. And you can see, I'm still overproducing the coal for some of them. Like the coal going to this one is a little bit sparse, but I still have coal going to others that are still waiting in line. And then in back here, as you look farther back, you see the edge of one power plant here, but there's four more power plants back here that I built. And those were coming off of these two water generation plant units here. You'll see one I have sitting dormant out here. It's not even powered up at this point. So I'm not pulling water from that extractor, but these two extractors, uh, I went back and then split the extractors to give water to the four units that are back there. After everything was done, these conveyors that you see carrying just uh, an occasional one going back there is just enough for each of the power plants that's receiving it. So I still have more capacity here with conveyors that are being split and have much more Coal going to them than what is needed and you know as far as I'm concerned that's that's okay because every when I powered everything up I still got a fairly balanced looking load all right so let's go back up there I need to start developing a list of all the things that I need to do because there's so many different factories here and there that I'm running out of brain space to process it all the big reason why I'm down here is I want to complete phase two. I am currently building those automated wire bundles up above. That's what I just powered up. I believe one of these, yes, these has the frames. So I need 500 of these. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I just gotta wait for the hundred automated wiring pieces to be built and then go from there. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna build a hyper tube to go out where I'm creating the screws out in the middle of nowhere. I am going to then build a truck stop there. I'm gonna feed the screws into the truck stop and I'm gonna transport the screws somewhere else. I, I've never done it before, so I'm gonna experiment with creating a, a truck route and have my tractor go uh, pick them up and bring them back and pick them up and go back and forth and see, see how that works. And as soon as I get enough automated wiring from the factory up there, I'll finish phase two and I'll, I'll start the next video com having completed phase two and ready to look at other things to complete and get moving up with the complexity of the things I can do uh, from the hub and from the next objective to go to phase three for the space elevator. It's going to be an exciting episode next time, so please like and subscribe and come back and see more, and we'll look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Thanks.